previous screencasts, I calculated what a heat flux and heat transfer coefficient were for a situation that involved nucleate pool boiling. However, I left it without showing how the units worked out. So I'm going to continue that screencast by showing you the three different parts of the equation and show how the units actually do match. So eventually, what we want is we found what should have been a heat flux, which is in units of watts per meter squared. So if you take a look at the first term, what you'll find is you have newtons seconds per meter squared times joules per kilogram. One newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. And one joule is a watt second. And so when we do the canceling, for this particular term, we end up with units of watts per meter. Now let's look at the second term. So here we have meters per second squared, kilograms per meter cubed, and then on the bottom, newtons per meter. And again, a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. And so now if we do the canceling, we have one over meter squared. However, since this term is taken to the one half, our final units are going to be one over meter. And finally, in the third term, you might be able to look at it right away and see joules cancels joules, kilograms cancels kilograms, Kelvin cancels Kelvin, and this particular expression is unitless. So now let's take the two terms that we do have units for. So we have watts per meter, and we multiply that by one over meters what we want for our heat flux, we have watts per meter squared. The units do balance out on both sides of the equation.